Hey, welcome back. Today, I'm going to show you something new. Alright? You want to come off the grid, you want to do something cool, check this out. Here, we have a whole new system. Let's go look. Alright. We have a battery. And look what we got in the battery. We have a KML tap and a KML tap. We got KMLs all over the place for each connection. Okay, we got a battery charger. This is a Black & Decker Smart Charger, 2, 6, and 4 amp. Alright? automatically charges it. This is holding the 2 amp trickle charge. And if we look over here, this, we can see the power lights on, right? Well, let's go look. And there it is. The power lights on, right? No faults, nothing. We're coming out of an 800 watt Kawasaki. Let me show you what I got here, right? Let's look. Zip back here. 800 watt DC to AC power converter. Inverter, right? Heavy duty. Let's see what we can... How long can we last? Three year warranty. Ah, oh, great. So we're gonna, what we did is um, we put the hard charger here and we put the TV there, right? Because there's two outlets. And then we taped up, uh, ran camel there, there, and ran a back line to the inverter on a ground camel. We took the positive camel here, positive camel out, go into here, okay? So we got the charger in the camel, we got the inverter in the camel, and we got the battery in the camel. So three camels here and the fourth coming to ground there. So it's one, two, three, four. All right, let's see what we got. I always like messing around. And plus a smart charger, what it does, see, is when it needs to, it'll kick the four, two, four, and six amps until it's completely charged. All right, it does this all by itself. It's been running for about three to four hours now. Let's see what we got. Let's hit TV on the remote. Nice that I was with CJ. Hear that? Kicked in. Inverter. She doesn't have a job. She doesn't have any money. How she is getting these drugs is... You have to be... How much you save? TurboTax. Choose easy. Four... Yes, sir. When I just saw the top ten... Four, seven, six, eight, five. Why, a Sunday school teacher. What prosecutors now say... All right. Just let you know it's working. But first, a reminder, just 60 days until the digital switch. If you do not have cable or satellite service, you'll have All right. You hear that? Inverter kicked right down because it didn't need the power anymore. And that will eventually kick up, which probably isn't ready. And we'll get a beep out of it. Okay, and it'll kick back down. And it only needs power when it, it uses the power when it needs the power. But with the KML, we have complete our unity with this closed loop system. Now, I guess you guys are thinking, well, that ain't much, right? Well, we're going to put that in a circuit. It ain't going to be that big. And that, oh, we can work with that. I wonder how long it'll last. This is a starter coil. All we got to do is hit positive and negative here with KMLs, right? We already got power. We got house power, AC coming out. We got DC there. Fire it here. Come out positive with a KML. You already seen what that can do. And you got, what? You know, 16, 20,000 volts? Ah, now what can we do? Power the house with it. Hmm, even a flyback transformer. Then, we're going to build another, that's a whole other power station, probably incorporating this one, but here we have a solar panel. And all we do is have two leads to it. No positive and negative. And we take this and shine a light on it, we can use our unity with the camel there too. Facing right to the solar panel, flash the light on it, we get 5, 6 volts. Okay? The light only takes 1.5 volts. Alright? So there you go. That's over and above what you need. You can also take this and also power the battery. Alright? So we can do all that. We can take this and we can jack up even more. If we really need it. And we're going to take this positive right out to a KML and jack it right back into the positive end of the battery. Or even 15 batteries if we wanted to. If we wanted to go that far with it. But we would hook these up in series parallel, however many amps and volts you want. There it is. There's the volts for you. Okay? Just want to show you that. You know, give it the air. See that? Alright. 12 volts. That's all we need, Bubba. And there's the 12 volts there. And we're repeating at 12 volts on a 2 amp trickle charge. And over here, we have a Kawasaki 800 watt. We don't even need that much. Well, we're going to power our computer same with this because we know it works, okay? And when it's done charging, trickle charging, whatever, it'll be, you know, go to the second stage and the third stage. It hadn't even went into the second stage yet. It didn't need to. Alright? 
I hope you guys enjoy this and what we got and this little true tech um, went down to our local store at parts plus and standard motor products incorporated quality automotive parts blah 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 this right here 11 bucks all right this solar panel guess what it was free I found it on the road you know I got two other three other ones but just for now we're gonna use a little bit of over unity with the light system. And we got some LEDs we're gonna play with with that. That right there, 30 bucks. That right there, the battery, 20 bucks. 20, actually 26 with a five dollar mail-in rebate. That right there, you're looking at about 30, 40 bucks. So I don't know, around 60 all together. But we're off the grid. We're not even plugged into the wall anymore. We're plugged in right there on the inverter. Okay, just to let you know. There it is. And you can make this yourself. Inverter, battery, smart charger. Okay? What I gotta do, I don't know how long it's gonna last, but we're gonna find out. It's been operational for about five hours now, non stop. And yes, it has switched over, and we can jack it up if we really want to. And you listen to the inverter. This, what is that? Six amps? There goes the inverter. Now, if we kick it down, Inverter kicks it right off. Fan doesn't need the fan. It's running on two amp trickle charge. Okay, so it's always going to stay charged as much as it needs to. And then when it doesn't, it has a float charge. It just stays there and floats along, charges it when it needs to, directly off the power grid. All right, there you go. Hope you have fun. See you later.